everyone so today is my October favorites it is November 2nd and it's time to do my October favorites I'm gonna try something a little bit new this month um Rocky wanted to say hi say hi um, I want to try something new this month um, I want to start doing my favorites where um, now that we're getting into the fall months I'm going to start showing my favorite chapstick of the month and then I'm also going to show my favorite non makeup related or beauty related product and um, my favorite handbag of the month so the handbag that I'm carrying for most of the month so I'm gonna try those things so let's get started I got a few favorites to show you um, so I'll start out with the first um, non makeup related item and that is my iPad 2 and this is the back the Hello Kitty I like love Hello Kitty and this is just like the magnetic cover that you can make into a um, like a little stand. So that's my iPad 2. So I'm absolutely loving this. It was actually a gift for my fiance. Um, he bought it for me as a surprise and got me the Hello Kitty case and the, um, the front magnetic cover also. So that was really, really sweet. I absolutely love it. I keep my calendar in it. Um, my to-do list, um, all kinds of stuff, notes. I absolutely love it. It's so much fun, and I'm so glad I got it. So that's my um, non-makeup related product. So now I'll get into the beauty products, and I'll do the handbag at the end because it's big. Um, so my first product that I'm absolutely loving this month is the Bare Minerals, and this is the Ready Eyeshadows in The Truth. And I showed these in a haul that I did, I believe my Ulta haul, and this is what they look like. They're absolutely gorgeous, super pigmented. Um, these do have quite a bit of shimmer in them, so if you're not into the shimmer um, look, these are probably not. This is probably not the best palette for you because there is a lot of shimmer to them. Um, I'll just swatch two of them for you, and um, as you can see, there's a lot of like shimmers in them, um, especially this one right here, and that one is um, serendipitous and magnetism is the um, this color right here. So I'm loving those, um, and I believe that palette was $30 at Ulta. So got loving that. The second thing I love is the Bare Minerals Flawless Definition Mascara. Looks like that. This is just the mini size bottle, and this is in um, just black. And this is the mini sample size bottle. I do have full size ones, but I figured I would use the mini size version first. As you can see, the brush is very fine. And it's a rubberized brush, which I love because I feel like it really like gets into your um, and separates them. Third thing that I'm absolutely loving this month is the NARS Orgasm Illuminator. And um, this is just like a small sample size that I received from a birch box um, one month. And I absolutely love this. I'll actually swatch it real quick for you. It's hard to see because it's very, um, you know, this is what it looks like. And I'll show you on the back of my hand after I rub it in. You can barely, it's very pretty, but it's mostly just like an illuminator. So you can't really, but you can see the shine of it. It's beautiful. So um, this little size sample, I've had this, my gosh, I think four months. Um, and I, I use it a lot. I actually, you know, use it on my cheekbone area. It gives me like a little bit of a glow. And um, I barely used it. I mean, you can see it's still got that much left, which is a lot in this little tube. So loving that. I believe the full size, I think, is around $40 on Sephora.com. I'm not 100% sure if I'm wrong. I apologize. I've never bought the full size amount, so I'm not sure. Um, the next thing that I absolutely love and I'm really not sure if this is still available, so I'm really sorry. Um, I'll try and put a link to the, in the down bar if it's still available, but I got it a long time ago, so I'm not sure if it's still available. It's um, the Bare Minerals, and they're called Radiance Rocks. Radiance Rocks. And um, they were out, special edition, um, I believe two Christmases ago. And I'll try not to, like, dump them. But this is what they look like. There's three different rocks in here. Um, this one is more of your like highlighter rock. This is your bronzer rock. And then this is like a pinky, like pinky pearlish tone. Um, and you can actually take the rocks out and you can use them directly on the skin by just rubbing them. 
and then um, or you can actually um, you know just put a brush swirl the brush around and then use them I like to use them for highlighting I like to use them for a little bit of a bronzy effect they're very very subtle and they're gorgeous um, and I forget what this was um, a few years ago it was actually a Christmas gift um, I had put it on my Christmas list but I don't remember what it went for I want to say it was like around 30 bucks or so beautiful pink packaging it was for the holidays like I said two years ago I will definitely look for it and if I can find it I'll put a link in the down bar for you um, the last product that I have um, is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil and this is the original Mineral Veil and this it comes with like a a sifter lid like a little like sifter type lid I'm trying not to like dump it so I'm trying not to um, but basically you can just um, open up the holes you know put a little bit in there and then you swirl it and tap it and then you buff it all over once you're done with your makeup I'm loving this again like I'll be honest I have been using bare minerals for about 10 10 plus years now um, since I got out of high school so it's, oh my gosh it's probably been like 13 years now um, but I've been using it for a long time and I used to love this stuff when I first started using bare minerals and then I felt that it I wasn't needing it I felt like my skin was dry as it was and I felt like even though this was supposed to you know kind of not dry it out it kind of made me feel like it was drying out and just recently I don't know if with the change in the weather and things like that my skin's been feeling a little bit more oily especially in the t-zone area and in the chin area I get really oily um, so I kind of rediscovered this in my makeup collection and decided to give it a try again and absolutely am loving it um, and for those of you who are Bare Minerals lovers, I know I got a lot of Bare Minerals products, but it's it's a lot of my Holy Grail stuff, so I apologize if you're not a fan. Um, but Bare Minerals just came out, literally launched uh, like three days ago. Um, they launched a pressed powder version of their Mineral Veil. Um, it's $22, I believe, um, for the compact, and it looks like, um, oh, I got makeup on this. It looks like this packaging and then instead of obviously the inside's got a mirror and then it's got a, a big thing of pressed uh, mineral veil and it comes with a puff so it's twenty two dollars I know you can get it at Ulta.com um, and I know you can get it from bearessentials.com I don't think that Sephora sells it just yet um, but I'm not hundred percent sure but it, I do have the pressed powder not the pressed powder the loose powder version and I do love this loving it all over again um, so you know if you don't have it try it out it's great it's a great blotting powder um, and mattifying powder as well and they have all different kinds they have um, you know a hydrating version and, and a tinted mineral veil for those of you who have a little bit more color in your skin or if you want to add a little bit of color in your skin it's amazing amazing stuff and I believe this container I believe is about $18 or $20 something like that and it, it lasts forever like I've had it forever and I barely use it so those are my makeup favorites um, now on to the um, lip balm of the month and I'm loving my Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey. I've showed this before, I think, in my favorites. But loving this for fall, I barely have any left, as you can see. I'm, like, down to the wire. Um, if anybody knows what it means when your lipsticks do a certain shape, can you, like, let me know? I know there's, like, a personality thing where if you're, if when you put on your lipsticks, the lipstick has a certain shape. Um, it means something about your personality, but I, I don't remember where I saw that from. So if you know, let me know what mine means. Um, but anyway, I'm loving that. It's very moisturizing, super smooth, goes on great. Um, it doesn't feel sticky. It doesn't feel real chapsticky. Like, it, it's just perfect, and it lasts a really long time. So loving that so much, I actually repurchased another one, and I have it in my purse. Speaking of purse... Here is my October handbag of the month, and I know we're now in November, but I haven't changed it out yet. It's um, a huge bag. Um, it is my Dooney and Burke bag, and I really forget what the name of this is. It's some type of a hobo, and I really don't remember what it's called, but I will look on their website and see if they still sell it, and I'll put the link in the down bar. Um, I bought that probably five years ago um, I actually got it I think for my birthday I didn't buy it I shouldn't have said I bought it I didn't get it um, myself I had it on a list a wish list and it was a gift for me for my birthday so um, that's the handbag that I'm using um, feel free to show me in your favorites what um, chapstick of the month or lip balm of the month you use um, a non makeup related item and also maybe your purse what you're using this month um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video thanks bye